this evening uh, if you are seeing the slides uh, it says the title says changes bring growth uh, today the whole world is going through the changes you and i know that this thing called the uh, pand pandemic which is a covid 19 uh, changing the lifestyle of every individual changing the economic growth of every country the whole world looking at it right in a way that this controlling of this COVID-19. The talk of the whole world is how to bring down this figure. Many damages, many innocent lives are gone and the, uh, the businesses are shrinking, activities are coming to halt. And today there are changes in the world is going through. Now, how about you and I, all right? Uh, looking into the changes in our personal life, amen, walking with God, I'm talking about the changes is happening in our life, which is bringing forth growth in our life. When we are in the Lord, amen, uh, we take a kind of an oath, right? God, I surrender my life. Change me, O oh God, amen, to be the person that you want me to become, Amen. I surrender my life, take away all my sins. Amen. In obedience to your word. And uh, I'm, I'm baptizing myself. And God, I pray that you will give me the gift of the Holy Ghost. How wonderful it is to come to the real life. The real life is where we see our maker, the Lord Jesus, leading our life. As we go, we have to open up our life for changes to come. Amen? Changes to come. And changes, sometimes good, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes we couldn't adapt the changes, just like what's happening around. We've been walking very uh, full of freedom. Alright? We don't have anything sticking to our nose, our mouth, but today we have to wear the mask. Alright? At all times. We used to go to the offices, see our friends and everything. Nothing of that sort. It is all work from home. Every Sunday, we look forward to see all of you right in the church. But that is also is not happening. So a lot of changes. But in our life, the changes that we go through after we give the life to the Lord Jesus, a lot of changes taking place. And those changes are good changes. Even though it at times might be tough, but today we're going to look into a few of those changes which is going to bring us growth in our life. God wants us to grow, not to be where we are. We have to grow. Amen. Hallelujah. When we receive the Holy Ghost, that is the greatest thing that we can have in our life is to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost so that we are connected be the maker. Amen. Hallelujah. This truth has to be preached all over, everywhere, every time. Amen. Because this Holy Ghost, that as we receive it, it's going to change. And that's going to bring growth in human life as per se. Any other changes, all right, is different. But we are talking, talking about the Holy Ghost that we receive changes our life. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for that. Amen. That this Holy Ghost that we receive changes our life and gives growth in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. So the primary of work of Holy Ghost is to for the growth. Not to be as where we are before, but change and grow so that we will not be the same person before. Amen. This supernatural power of changes and growing only takes place when we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. This changes is the one going to bring the meaning of life in our life. This transformation, not everybody will have. Only people of God who have surrendered their life and received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We are so thankful that I'm facing this evening. 
almost all of you have received this gift of the Holy Ghost and there are changes taking place in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you are becoming the testimony, a living testimony to the people outside there. So we are becoming Jesus' likeness. We are becoming more like him as we receive the Holy Ghost. So we are not the same. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Changes brings growth. Amen. So let's look and look into a couple of the uh, things. Amen. Hallelujah. That where we have to check ourselves, the changes that we have. The changes have taken place in our life. Amen. Amen. We need to know. We got to be conscious about the changes is happening in our life. Yes. If it's a tree, then we need to know what kind of fruit the tree is bearing. We got to be conscious. Amen. Hallelujah. Likewise, as we are growing, right? What are the changes taking place in our life? Has our life changed? Amen. In what area our life has changed? Amen. And what are the things these changes bringing into our life? Amen. And where do we stand at this time? Amen. Hallelujah. It is for us to know about ourselves. We're talking about ourselves. Amen. The changes which are taking place in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to look at, at the back and see what I was and where I was, who I was and where I am now, what I am now, amen, so that we are able to move forward at the same time. We know changes as taking place in our life, amen. It is for us to know about our own life, hallelujah. That's what this evening that we're going to talk about, to have a conscious growth and what are the level of growth is happening in our life. Don't, it's not necessary that we need to wait for somebody else to tell us, but it'll be good. But that again, we need to look into these three areas, the developments taken place in our personal life. As the teaching is going on, I pray that each and every one of you, amen, uh, take a note of this and uh, at the same time to see these changes are happening in your life. Amen. There are three areas that I prepared to share with you this evening, that is to, to check ourselves, number one, personal, our personal relationship with God. If there is a change is taking place in your life and there is a growth in it, the one first foremost area to check is our personal life with him, personal relationship with God. This is one area, amen, the growth need to be checked. The second one is the, our personal inner life. We ourselves, I myself, you yourself, how much changes you've gone through and what are the growth is going through in your life. Amen? And the third thing is, are we changing and we growing? What are we to others? What are we transferring to others? How are we impacting others? How are people blessed with our blessing? So that is the relationship with others. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray the word of God will speak to you this evening. Cause you to bring closer, nearer to him and adapt to these changes and there will be much growth in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Proverbs, Chapter 4, verse 23. If you have a Bible, you can refer that. If not, you also can see the slide. Amen. Hallelujah. In Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Amen. Number one, when we talk about the relationship with God, our heart issue. This isn't a heart issue. To be careful, to be diligent, to take note, to pay high attention 
In fact, you say you have to be smart, all right? And with all your force, all right, that your heart, amen, hallelujah, seeking him with diligence. Amen. Not just as in a routine, but to have the highest, to pay highest attention, all right, to pay diligence, what God is doing in our life. Amen. This is such an important area in our growth and our changes because sometimes we are carried away in a mess, in a group, all right, day after day, time to time, uh, things one after one that we are normally just carried away. But we need to check ourselves, our relationship, all right, with God. Be diligent. Take every effort. Bible says, take every effort to check yourself. How close I am. How am I spending time with Him? Amen. Because our life issue is not external force. Our life issue is our heart issue. So if this is the case, then we need to. Get all our main effort, all our effort to connect ourselves with Him. How deeply you are connected, and how often you are connected as well in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is what going to tell us. Have we grown? Maybe as a young Christian, as a young believer, we depended so much the group praying. We depended so much on the church prayer. We depended so much on people praying for us. But that was when we are young. We are new in the Lord. But today, our main single purpose is to be connected with Him in His relationship. Our relationship must be connected with Him. Amen. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. I'm talking about the intimate relationship, the personal relationship with Him that shows your growth. That means we have changed. I have changed. I'm no more the same person of last time where I have to depend on others to pray for me. But today, I am connected deeply with him. He is just next to me. Amen. That is a great transformation in our life when we come to know the Lord personally, individually. Hallelujah. And God is pleased with that. As a teaching going on, we are checking ourselves. All right. So this is one of the main points that we are checking ourselves. God is pleased with that and how close we are to the Lord. Amen. Let's not just carry away our ritual things. Let's not be carried away things that we do day by day, but touch your heart because the heart issue, all right, is an important life and death issue in my having the hold of God in my life. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They say God to have window effect. It's good to have window effect whereby when you open the window, what do you see? You see the outside, all right? You see the outside. It's good to have the knowledge of God to see the world outside, but you also got to have, people say, the mirror effect. The mirror effect is when you put a mirror right in front of you, see the person, all right? Like how all of us are seeing, can see ourselves, okay? Looking into ourselves. One is looking out, the other one looking into us. Amen, look into us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about relationship with God. And if you want to sum up our life this evening, amen, it's all about relationship with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So the one way and the only way, all right, to have our family together, like what we do, coming together, caring for one another, having to know what one another they do, it's spending time together. That makes a healthy family. If you are hiding in yourself, right in your closet, if you are hiding yourself, all right, it's good that you come out. Spend some time with your brothers and sisters. Spend time with your mom and dad. All right, that makes the family unit stronger. How more than we spending time with the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 24 hours is given to you. We can do anything. That's what we plan. We can do what is in the things to do list. But there again, check on yourself. All right. The time that we spend with the Lord Jesus, the time that we talk to God, the time that we bring our need to Him, the time that we give Him the praise. 
the mind and the honor. Hallelujah. Take time. Count how many minutes. Amen. Well, I thank the Lord that there are people spending hours. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we need to be much closer ever before. That is growing. Amen. Hallelujah. Where the 15 minutes prayer becomes half an hour, the half an hour becomes 45 minutes. The one hour prayer becomes even two or even more. He deserves all our time with him. That is change. That is growing in our life. Hallelujah. We want to thank the man of God, Brother Mutu, last Sunday. He preached a very powerful sermon. Run with the horses. Run with the horses. Amen. God wants us to speed up our life. Speed up our life. God has great things for us. Amen. We feel that we are still slow. There's snail space. We need to back up. We need to have a high expectation of our life. We need to spend more time, give more attention to the Lord of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is relationship. All right. And whatever you do in your own style, in your own way, to improve your relationship, that should be our powerful attention to be given. Today, the world is changing, right? And they want to know what these changes can do, what these changes can cause people's life, how can people can become better, how people can be survived, how people can be healed out of this sickness, and how people can avoid all this. So they want to change. They want to see change. In order to do that, we have to change our life. Don't go out, don't do this, don't do that. Yes, those are the things that we need to adapt ourselves for the changes, amen? And we, the people of God, amen? Making use of this opportunity, all right? Speed up our time, amen? Hallelujah. So are you ready for that? Because we are running with horses to overcome disappointments, amen? Discouragement, overcoming the, the, the desperate life out there. In order to do that, we got to be ready what the Lord going to give us so we are have to be connected so that we don't miss the point what God is giving to us. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 2, verse 12. Here we have a Bible. Let me see. Okay. All right. Okay, if you have your Bible, or you can just jot down the scriptures. And be not conformed to this world. Right? We are living in this world. Right? But do not be conformed to this world. But ye be transformed by renewing our mind. Changing our mind. Changing our mindset. Change the way we think. Hallelujah. That ye may prove that what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Changes, brothers and sisters. This evening, there's one thing that, that you are learning Amen. Hallelujah. That we need to allow ourselves, amen, for the changes that's happening in our life. It's not a comfortable thing to go, right? Not to go to church, not to attend to the service, not to see pastor, not to see our brothers and sisters. Be at home and you worship by yourself and, you know, you have to read your word. It's all like our church, our house becoming like a church. That changes. Never thought this will happen. That every Sunday we are so excited to go, but today it's not happening. Amen. Hallelujah. But we need to adapt to the changes. We are in the world. Right? We are in the world. Okay? Not of the world. And be not conformed to this world, but ye, but ye transform by renewing your mind. But ye may prove that what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. Learn to accept the changes, brothers and sisters. It's not something that we like, but learn to accept these changes and through these changes, we are growing. And I can see that our church is growing, All right? People taking the initiative by themselves, amen, joining this, such as teaching session today, even coming out of their time and all the cell groups and, and our Sunday services, changes are there, but they are not giving an excuse. They are adapting themselves and there is growth. That is a big initiative, All right? Without any uh, false or without any kind of leading, you are already there here today. Look at the amount of people that we have. 
right? It's a big group of people. We have more than 30 over people joining this time on a Thursday evening. Changes. And today we are receiving the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it also can be said, do not copy the behavior of the world. Don't be accustomed to the style of the world. But let God change you. Amen. This changes only takes place, amen, when we are with the close relationship with the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. So one thing you have taken home, taking home today, a very important thought. Yes, you're not going home. You're in the home now. So take this word to your heart. Amen. That I will take every effort to go closer to the Lord Jesus in my daily life. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The second thing uh, that I mentioned just now is grow up in our personal inner life. Amen. You, me, are we changing? Are we growing? Especially at this point of a time. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there a, are there changes? Right? In our daily life. Seeking God. Amen. Being in his presence. Reading of his word. Remember. And praying for others as well. Are there changes? And these such changes are growing. Those are the growing points in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you reach the point. All right. At this point of time. Don't think of any other week, any other month or year. Don't wait for the COVID-19 to over. Right now, have you reached the best level in serving God? Have you reached the best level in your personal life you have reached in seeking God? Have you reached the best of the best using the talents given, the time is given to you, or maybe your 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 ability that you're given, have you reached the best? Don't wait for another season to come. All right? Because we do not know what is it. It is not a full season. Something like a full season, but it's not a full season in our life. You know, now winter, we know what is next going to come. All right? And so, so good that Malaysia don't have any kind of a season. So right now in your life, do not wait for another season. Ask yourself, am I giving the best? It is demanded of you. Is demanded of me to go change where I can give more for the Lord and utilizing my level best for the Lord to give the best of the best of the best and leverage my potential for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And giving more effort for the Lord to reach out to Him. Amen. And also, we are meant to be. Have the changes in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Even though our Christian life is like a box. You cannot do this. cannot do this. Yes, it's true. Our life was structured with the, by the word of God. Not like the people outside there. They can do anything. But our life is like a box. It's structured. We have to follow the principle of God. Which we thank God. That's how it should be. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's add up our stuff to live within the system, to live within that box. But the world says, think outside the box. I'm talking about living within the principle, within the system of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And let the struggle, is there going to be any struggle in our inner life? Exposed to him. Hallelujah. Talk to him in your prayer and let your heart be open to him. God, this is what I am now. These are the areas that I am struggling. I want to change. Amen. God, I want to grow. I don't want to be the cry baby all the time. I want to be a mature child of God. Amen. That I'm so close to you. And I want my inner life to be deeper. And when I can call on you at any one time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be passionate about what God has downloaded to you. 
as people say. Be passionate about what God has given you. Amen? The blessing that you can call it. Maybe the talents. Maybe the ability that you can do something better than the others. Amen? Be passionate about it. Hallelujah. Yes, in the course of this life, you tend to, you tend maybe forgot. Maybe you have not taken. Take note of what God has given you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are so calculative in many things, but come to the blessing of God. We got to be calculative. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be passionate about what God is, God has given you. Every blessing. Amen. Every area of your life, what God has blessed you. Amen. Many people, they think uh, they really have to cry out to God to understand what is their calling in their life. I can come across an article, there's no need to cry. Right? Your calling is what God already given you. Your calling, God knows you are able to do it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have called you. God has given you sufficient talents, abilities, that you are able to grow and you are able to show and you are able to be passionate about it and cultivate what is given to you. Amen, church. That is calling. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. So as God has given you all those things he has decided to give you, there is an expectation from him. God is expecting you. Amen. Remember the, the parable Jesus told about the talents? Amen. Hallelujah. All the servants were very careful how to multiply the talent except one guy. All right? The talents given to each and every one of you to multiply. There is an expectation from the master. Hallelujah. So it's, we got to be careful to count the blessings so that you are able to multiply and the Lord is looking at your efforts where you can multiply it and bring the good, bring the goods, bring the result. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we got to be action oriented. We got to be a result oriented believer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are still in that blur area, sometimes yes, nothing to shy about. Uh, it's not wrong thing. You may not be sure what is God has given me. All right. Hallelujah. But when you are connected in prayer, God is going to tell you and God is going to show you. Hallelujah. If there's something is blocking, like King David prayed, create in me a clean heart, O Lord. He renew in me the right spirit. Help me to see. Cause my eyes to see what that you are giving me that I'm able to go with it. So we need to have a time of soul searching. Hallelujah. Take time. Take time to know what God has given you so that we can be carefully can multiply the talents which are given to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The perception that we have in our life towards this calling, towards this uh, Christian life overall, God will be right thinking, same as God himself. We cannot have two way of thinking, all right? And we can be have a different style of thinking. Our mindset, has to be same as who has called us. Hallelujah. Our limitation has to be broken. Anything that you are holding, amen, hallelujah, you got to break it because God will the one to hold you, right? Any good things. He always wants to bless you with more things, amen? So likewise, do not hold back yourself, sit back and relax yourself. One fine day will come that I will do this to God, or well, one fine day will come, all right? I'll wait, you know, that person will call me to do. No, now is a time, amen, and God want you to do something that he able to see you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So be close to God, amen, know what are his wills, what are his plans, and calling upon our life. So our thinking has to change. Amen. Our thinking has to change to be more like him. Because if we think otherwise, right? Let me see if I can get the next word. Okay. But anyway, the, the scripture that I like to share with you is in, in uh, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 
seven. As a man thinketh, so is he. How do you think about yourself? All right. How do you think about yourself? You talk to any uh, nutritionist. They will say you are what you eat. Huh? To a certain extent, it's true. Huh? You are what you eat, and that's the person you're going to become. So the Bible says, as a man thinketh, our thinking. All right, refresh your thinking. Refresh your thinking to say what you think about yourself. All right, because that thinking process has to be same as our Maker. Hallelujah! 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 There are many. All right, I still remember Brother Leo was teaching. Pastor Leo was teaching many years ago in the old church. Don't be a lukewarm Christian. I was wondering what is that lukewarm? All right, it is like. If I gave an example, it's like you drink your favorite coffee every morning to energize yourself. But it's like you make the coffee this morning, and you drink it later at night. Even the best coffee you enjoy will not taste good. It will not taste good because it's not hot. It's either not hot or cold. It's a lukewarm. There are many who wait for a moment, a fine moment in their life, right, to come. And they will be good at it. No, this is a moment to check on our life. Amen. Take heed of your word of God. Amen. To know this is a moment that I need to learn of God's word and I need to apply it, the principle of God, and being closer with Him to check on my inner life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, in Isaiah chapter. 64 verse, it also says, change my heart, O God. Amen? Change my heart, O God. But now, O Lord, thou art Father, we are the other claim, and thou art the potter, and we are, we all are the work of thy hand. Amen? It's a beautiful song that we used to sing in our, during our worship. Change my heart, O Lord. All right, change my heart, O God. It's a wonderful, powerful song that we sing. So this got to be our daily prayer. Amen. We got to be daily prayer. Hallelujah. Change my heart of that. I'm just like a clay, and you are my potter. Make me and mold me to be the person that you want me to become. God has a dream for each and every one of us. God has a master plan for our life. Amen. Allow this potter, allow this potter to make the kind of image, the kind of person that he wants to have, want us to be. That is the future he's holding. Our future is in him. Amen. The life right now we are living is in him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's allow the potter, all right, to make the person that he has in his mind. Hallelujah. The third point, hallelujah, is to our relationship with others. How is it impacting our relationship with others? That's including our relationship with our brothers and sisters in the church. That is something that we need to check. That we need to change if changes need to take place. There must be a grower. A man grower to respect one another. Amen. Hallelujah. Respect the opinion of others. Taking care of them, noticing what is in their life, in their ministry, that how you can be a blessing to them. Hallelujah. You don't need to impose many things. You know, you have to do this, have to do that, but you can impact people's life. Imagine this is one area, this is one important area to show that we have matured, we are growing. And we shouldn't be having problem among our brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. To take away, to set aside the differences that we have, forgiving one another. Amen. Hallelujah. We all on the same boat, right? Our destinations are the same. The chief of this boat, this ship, is the Lord Himself. So let's not push one another. Don't rock the boat. Don't need to rock the boat because our mission is the same. 
Hallelujah. Our destination is the same, the same thing. So let's be a person can impact one another in the church and also and look at ourselves. Are we impacting others? When you take time to impact the people who are unknown to the word of God, unknown to the Lord God that we serve, you are growing. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will take us to a strange place, places that you might not uh, have knowledge of what is it going to be. In a couple of the trips that we had, our mission trip to China, it was it is totally a new place for me. People are different, the language different. Amen. And uh, so many things are different. But one thing that we had in our heart that we want to give something that we have to the people who yet to know the Lord and they receive so beautifully. And we see, we saw many miracles taking place. Amen. And that's much more an important education that has changed the perception of God in my mind. Amen. Hallelujah. One of the trips that we went to Hainan, uh, as we uh, arrived in the airport, they told us, oh, oh, we are so sorry that we didn't inform you. This is a typhoon season where people don't go out. All the government departments are closed. Schools already given the holiday. In fact, government holiday already given about three days because this is going to be the biggest typhoon to come in in the high cost city. So they said, it's like, sorry, you know, we didn't inform you. But we prayed much. The church, of course, had backed us in prayer. And uh, we want to see the miracle of God. But this was one of the biggest things came to us, that the season was not, or the time was not conducive for us to do what we plan to do. All right? And so happened the first night. All right? That's what people say. The first night is a powerful typhoon going to come. About early hours of 3 to 4 o'clock, I heard a noise like the F1 service. You know how the car F1? Right? It is powerful like a sort of tank of the F1 Ferrari or Porsche was running. That powerful, the noise. And uh, I took time to see how it's typhoon because we didn't have typhoon in Malaysia. So I just opened the curtain in our hotel room and I saw what is like typhoon. Oh my goodness, that was typhoon, yes. And I saw even a huge tree can bend all the way down, hit the road, right? And it can go up. And most of the trees broken, the curtain was flying unconditionally, and I thought the balcony was going to drop. It was that powerful that first day of the night in mind. And it was awesome silent. You don't see any human passing by at that hour anyway, but it was so powerful. Now I was thinking, well, whatever we plan the next day, uh, we're not sure how we're going to, uh, going to carry out. There are baptism arranged. We have to travel one place or another for Bible study. So that was a plan, but I want to praise God. Amen. The next day, it was awesome, quiet. Yes, the weather was quiet. People were quiet, not traveling here, here and there because they've been conditioned, they've been told not to go out of their house. And it was awesome, quiet. Our Bible study went on so beautifully without any interference, no rain, no typhoon. And the next day and the evening was we already set our timetable to baptize people. And I can see the miracle of God. It was a beautiful evening. We joyfully singing, walking to the beach to baptize people. Hallelujah. And that caused my mind to change what God has planned. All right, it will go smoothly. No nature can come against it. No typhoon come against it. And that was a beautiful thing. And we saw people being baptized. We baptized many people, even, at, even in the evening. All right, they came for the service. The hall was packed. The house, it was an apartment. It fully packed. I just came peep through and see the number of shoes and slippers outside. There were so many. 30 to 40 people in one apartment, three room apartment. We had a powerful worship. It was fantastic. Miracle of God took place. People got killed, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and they don't want to leave. It's already 10 o'clock. They don't want to leave. Amen. Hallelujah. So the perception of our mind needs to change. How we see ourselves as a vessel of God. Amen. It must change. Allowing God to do what he planned to do in our personal life, and also as we reaching out to 
people. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to praise God. Thank God for that. Amen. There are many things hidden in us. There are many untapped talents upon each and every one of your life. And that's meant for God. Not to show off, but that talent's been downloaded to you. That talents, all the talents have been deposited in you. Yes, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. There are many, many of you here watching this service this evening. Many, many talents are hidden in you. There are many talents being given to you and deposited into you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take it out. Use it for God's glory. If you are doing the same thing again and again, a man, it will bring the same result. But if you take the challenge to change for the sake of God, for the work of your ministry, for your calling, and there will be growth in it. Hallelujah. And people are going to be blessed in it. Amen. So we are not having a conducive life, but we have a liberated life. We have full liberty. Amen. Serving God. Hallelujah. 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 In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, allowing God for changes in our life. Amen. Within ourselves can, but it's limited. I want to change. I want to change. Yes. You look at any, any one of them got a habit of drug habits, alcoholism, people who have any other uh, wrong habits. You ask them, they can change. Yes, they can change. Limited change for limited time. But when we are the people of God, amen, God has given us a liberty to change and progress and develop ourselves. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank the Lord for the liberty in serving God and also being, being a vessel unto him to be a model of change. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The last point I would like to bring out is our relationship with others. Are there any change? The way we deal with others, is there a change? Are there a change? Or you want people to understand? Is it happening? Or people misunderstand you? Always going into conflicts. All right? Having conflicts with one another. People with outside. It can happen wherever you are. All right? But we need to check ourselves. What are we now? Amen. Hallelujah. We must be a person having to live out our life. Amen. The Bible says, live out your life so people are able to see you. See who? Jesus. See who? God in us. We, know, we need to be the Christ-like minded person. When Jesus was out in the field, all right, people were drawn to him. Wherever he walked, people walked with him. Amen. When he talked, tons of people that listened to his preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need to check our every aspect of our life. Am I displaying the Christ-like character? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need, to, we need to stop giving excuses that, you know, I'm that kind of person. Um, I cannot deal with this kind of people. You know, I, I don't think I can go and do that. I don't think I can talk to that person. But this is a life that we reflect to others, outsiders. Amen. Is it impacting others? We need to be the light to the world. Salt to the earth. Are we such a person? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world is so anxious. All right. Yes. The world is very anxious. Every day that we see there's nothing good is coming up. All right. And but we, the people of God, how do we respond to the changes? Reflects the God-like character. Reflects what has been deposited into you. What you have been hearing all this while the teaching, preaching of your reading you can read it, all right? You can read it. There's something say that we got to be anxious about. What is that? <laughs> Nothing, all right? 
Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 8 says, Be anxious for nothing. Yes, our life is not in our hand, our life is in Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In um, Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, all right? Jesus said, What? Take therefore no thought for the marrow. That means tomorrow. The marrow shall, one, will take thought for things itself. Right? Sufficient unto the day is the will thereof. I praise God what I have today. That's what the word says. But if we thank God for what you have, right? Thank God for this opportunity. I can meet brothers and sisters here to share the word of God. Thank God that I have my brothers and sisters all are well intact, right? Well intact. They are together, together with me. Amen. They are supporting me in prayer. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't see anybody there or there, but I hope that you can hear. Hallelujah. So we want to thank the Lord for this evening. Hallelujah. That we are able to grow together. We are able to change. We are able to be a blessing to one another in this growing process. Hallelujah. God knows, right, what we have in our heart. He knows, Abraham, whether he can win stand, right? His son, Isaac, he knows. And man, that's the reason that he was given the test. Noah, God knows what is in Noah's heart, whether he can withstand right, that he can carry the message. He did it. Amen. Hallelujah. God knows the heart of Moses, even though he tend to give excuses. Amen. He knows. Hallelujah. I cannot talk very well. You know, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not eloquent in speaking, but he knows what are the ability. Likewise, God knows, church, what you are capable of. Amen. And what you are able to do and what you are able to bring forth the result. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to commit this time to the Lord. Amen. I believe that Jesus has given to you, uh, given to you, Lord, given each and every one of you an opportunity to grow, to change and grow. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And uh, changes are good. It has to be progressive, right? It has to be progressive. And you are becoming a beautiful, beautiful colorful butterfly like even though you were ugly worm before but God is making you making you a beautiful butterfly where it is so many colors in it people able to adore that butterfly amen hallelujah give time give time for the changes amen that we are able to grow and go together the plan that God has crafted for us the root map that he has for us that we are able to go further. I want to thank the Lord for the sharing of this word, teaching of this word. And I'm sure this word, as God has uh, planted for you to be bring forth, that we are able to change and grow for his sake and for the calling of God in our life. Amen. Amen.